Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video series, we have explored about the Java 8 enhancement in wrapper classes. So this is the continuation of those videos itself. So in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 enhancement in Boolean wrapper class. So you can see on the slide, I have listed four static methods, right? And these four methods have been added in Java 8 in Boolean wrapper class. So first method is called hash code here when you so when you pass or any boolean value if you want the hash code of that boolean value that that is going to return as an integer in first API. Now second API when you pass these two uh, parameter these two boolean value then logical on the operate, uh, and operator will perform in these two parameter and that result is going to return as a boolean right. So if you are going to pass both uh, uh, operator both parameter as a true then you'll get return as a true any of them is false then you'll get the false that's the thing logical and operator right uh, now logical or so any of these two operator any of one is true then that means this is going to return you true itself now third third method is it's called logical xor logical xor if both operand you are passing as a true then this is going to, going to return you a false or if you, you are passing uh, both parameter as a false then this is again going to return you a false itself if both parameter is true then this is going to return you false and both parameter even false then this is going to return you true, uh, false itself if any of them is uh, true then this is going to return you true so that's the uh, use of logical XOR. Let's try to understand this method through an example. So here in Eclipse, I have created a project with name uh, Boolean wrapper Java 8 methods and here uh, what I'll try to do here, let's try to take two uh, Boolean value from the keyboard and let's try to perform this operation. Right. So here I'm going to use try with resources. So I'm going to use scanner to take input from the keyboard and I'm going to use try with resources. So try with resources is the one of the important feature uh, which, which, which is in Java 7, right? So let's use try with resources. Now what I'll do, oh, sorry. So let's create a try block and you can have a shortcut to create a try block and here I'm going to declare try with resources in bracket. So here you can declare any resource if you want to uh, use in the try block, right? So if you look into the scanner class, then a scanner class implements two interfaces, iterator as well as closable. And closable interface extends auto closable, right? That means a scanner implements auto closable. If any resource or any class implements auto closable interface, then you can declare those resources in the try with resources in that case you don't need to close this this resource in the finally block that's the advantage you don't need to explicitly close it in uh, finally block so once you've done with this this will be automatically closed by the JVM now I'm going to take two input from the keyboard so I would prompt the message to the user enter first boolean value okay and this boolean value i'm going to uh, take through a scanner so a scanner is a different method to take input uh, from the keyboard like uh, here we want a boolean input so next boolean we have a method and this input uh, we are going to save in a uh, var local variable is called a and similarly i would print another message to take second in a boolean value from the keyboard so I'm asking to the user enter second boolean value and saving into variable b now let's try to perform now as I have shown you these methods are statics right so directly you can call by its class name so you can call has code and here you can pass a Let's save in the some variable and 
again you can call this method on variable b and let's say this is hash code 1 and this is hash code 2 now you can print these two value so hash code 1 try to print and hash code 2 now let's let's call next method is called logical and and here we are passing these two input and we'll try to print its value logical and now next i'm going to call logical or logical or and we are passing this to input so let's see what uh, let's try to print logical or as well and third method i'm going to call that is called logical xor and just we are parsing a and b and let's print this return value as well okay and let's try to run it so here i'm going to pass first parameter as a true and second parameter is a, as a false and let's see so first two sop just returning you a uh, hash code value right so this returns you the hash code value now third sop logical and so first input we have taken as true and second as a false so that's why this is going to return you a false right logical and means this will return you a false any of operator is false then this is going to return you false now logical or any of operator is true then this is going to return you true so that's why we are getting output as a true right and as i said logical xor so this will perform xor of a uh, xor operation on these two inputs so first input we have taken as true and second is false that's why this is return you true now let's run this program for both value i'm taking as a true so first true and second again true now now xor will perform in little different way so this is returning you true this is true and last is going to return you false right so both operand is true that means this is going to return you false now if i pass both as a false first i'm going to pass as a false and again i'm going to pass as a false so look at it here so this is going to return false this is also false and last operation is also will be false right so i hope you understood how to make use of these methods right so basically i have tried to explain you this method through an example but uh, in real project uh, you may have a lot of lot of places where you need to check these things right you need to perform logical uh, and operator and if you look into the implementation you can see logical or so basically you write uh, this kind of code in your uh, source code right so we don't need to write if you have a two operands you want to perform the logical and so already you have a uh, uh, existing method right in boolean class Sim similarly if you perform logical and then this is c is you can see this is basically performing the logical and on these two operand so basically you write a like this in your source code so you don't need to write like this so directly you can call logical and right so that's the main huge case of this method so i hope you uh, enjoyed learning this video uh, this code i'm going to upload on the github uh, and github location i will uh, specify in the video description so uh, if you like this video then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any uh, comment or any questions queries then please do post below to this video itself and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial